clip cow's tails so that they're cleaner. Don't leave calves in the calving pen for too long because that's where they're already picking up coccidiosis at the start of life. Feed good quality colostrum. Use the one, two, three rule uh, in your colostrum management. So keep our bedding dry and frequently topped up in our calving and rearing pens. So in terms of bedding, throughout the full season, so that's calving and rearing phases, the farmer should be able to kneel down on his or her bedding and rise up with dry knees. Keep calves batched by age and don't mix batches once you've made that batch. Keep feed and water troughs elevated off the ground to avoid fecal contamination and also monitor them throughout the season for contamination. If calves are picking up coccidiosis outside, try and prevent mucky areas from developing on pastures. You can do that by moving your feed and water troughs around and by being smart with our fencing. Once calves go outside and you have a history of issues with coccidiosis outside, think about which paddocks those calves use and don't reuse contaminated paddocks for calves year after year. At the end of the calving season, use the right disinfectant, something like a Kinocox, to disinfect the calving environment, but also the calf's environment. The shed, the concrete, the walls, the gates, but also the drinkers and the feeders. And if it does go wrong, you have to treat the affected calves, treat the calves that will also have been exposed, and maybe isolate severely sick calves and use electrolytes to treat the scour.